plug in. So this is just going to be a quick one, but uh, I figured I would share this. So I have these Canadian market um, seafoam green, I guess you'd call it, uh, Dio plastics. And they're really sun faded. Like this side here is what they looked like. And then the same on the foot pad here, like they were all white like that. Like there was no green in this section whatsoever. <clears throat> so I've seen a lot of different talk about uh, repairing and rejuvenating plastics, but this one is one that seems to work for me the best. Uh, it's a heat gun. Now, it's not without its dangers. Um, you can melt your plastic, you can distort your plastic. So like if you heat it up this section here and it droops, then you can't go back from that. So patience is key with this. You basically just want to warm it up enough that you see the surface kind of gloss and keep the gun moving. Never stop in one spot. And then once you heat up a section, don't go back over it immediately. Let the surface cool, continue working your way around the part, and then when you're done, you can go back over and go over it again a few more times. You'll end up with kind of splotchy spots. You'll see kind of like some spots turn a little bit shinier than others. And uh, again, you can just go over that again after the fact and can keep going until it gets more consistent. Um, but it works really well for me. Like I did this line here kind of as a like a definitive line to see the difference between the two. So this is not heat gun and heat gun. Obviously this is a lot more vibrant. Basically what you're doing is this is oxided plastic or sun weathered plastic. So the, the UV has broken down the plastic. And when you heat that up with a heat gun, it melts it and the top surface and just makes it kind of back into, because this is opaque. So it kind of like dulls the color. So when you melt that back in and make it clear again, the color kind of gets vibrant and pops back out. You do want to clean your plastics extremely well before you do this. Like, I mean, like scrub them with a stiff bristle brush, not like a metal brush. I use like a nylon brush and just scrub, scrub, scrub. You can scrub a lot of the oxide off, especially if there's like loose flaky stuff. Any dirt that is on the plastic, when you use this method, you will embed it into the plastic. So. Make sure that you've cleaned it really, really well before you use this method. Otherwise, you're just going to embed a bunch of dirt and crud into your plastic. So, <clears throat> might not be able to hear me, but I'm just going to do a quick demo of what I've been doing to get this uh, changing into a nicer shade of this color. It's usually best if you let the heat gun warm up for a second so it's consistent and nice and hot. And then Keep the gun moving. It's not hot enough yet, still not blowing quite warm enough. There we go. You can see that changed it pretty effortless, effortlessly. There are things, other safety precautions to take into consideration. So thin plastics like this will distort much more readily than thick stuff like this. Also edges, be extremely careful at the edges. You know, don't dwell on the edges. If you can take the heat gun and go over your edges like this, because if you dwell on the edges, it can burn and bubble up and you'll get like a black spot that you can't fix short of maybe like sanding it down but then you're going to lose the texture that's underneath um, the other thing is when it's still hot don't touch it or you'll end up with a fingerprint in it or if you have dirt or grit from like the hands or your workbench or your floor and you rub it in while the plastic is still glazed and hot you're going to end up with contaminant in your plastic so just keep it cool um, and if it's the plastic is hot, don't set it down on something with the thing distorted because it'll stay that way when it cools. Um, you shouldn't be getting it that hot in the first place. 
but it's something to take into consideration if you like heated up this whole side of this piece of plastic and then set it down in a weird angle so it was bent well when it cools it's probably going to want to stay like that so just uh careful easy slow you can always go over it again if it doesn't change like this i've gone over multiple times in the corners it's really hard to get the uh the oxidized plastic out so you got to go over it a bunch so i mean like go over it wait start again go over it wait continue and continue it's not like just like an instant do it once and it's good you'll end up with this really really streaky looking uh inconsistent kind of finish to it if you do that because the plastic kind of distorts and gets all bubbly you're putting too much heat into the plastic at once super super slow super super cautious and you'll get pretty decent results it's like this is i'm very happy with that it's a little streaky down here but i'll go over it again here in a few minutes once i get the whole thing done and it'll look almost like new other than these uh, dark scuffs that i couldn't get out but like I said, just a real quick one for the evening. Uh, that's it for now. Take care.